Good morning, diecast dudes and the three women who watch this channel. Shirts are in. Now available at ignitiondiecast.com. Like it says right there. The back says, none for Kevin. And one of you viewers invented that term. I came up with the name Kevin and randomly in one video just as a way to give an alias to this one dude here in town, but it's kind of become a generalized term like Karen or Chad or Kyle for the flipper. And uh, the meaning of none for Kevin is that it's all of our duty when you come across something of value on the pegs to buy it all. And what you do with it after that is up to you. You can give it away, preferably, trade it with some trading buddies and even sell it. I mean, if you're an actual collector and not a pure blood flipper, scalper, scum, go ahead and sell it. I mean, support your hobby, whatever. Just keep it out of the hands of Kevin because they're the scourge of this hobby, the hoarder. So those are available in white on black. I think this is probably going to be the first of many because we actually make money off of clothing whereas we don't make too much money off of the whole diecast thing. Uh, so today I'm going to open three main lines from Mr. Surfaro, the surf from Surfari man, Steve himself. I opened a couple yesterday and these were unexpected gifts. We did a trade. So there were trade items that are now in inventory, but this is stuff I'm keeping because it's, very sweet. So here's this Dodge Challenger SRT drift car. It is SRT, right? I guess it's not necessarily an SRT. It's a drift car. But I needed this one. I have the white one. It's like a mirror image of this. It's white with a red splash. And this one is red with a white splash. Hold on. Let me show you. Can I reach it? Yeah. There it is right there. There's the white one. No, I have the red one. It's always in fact. Badass American classic. If you haven't seen the movie Vanishing Point, you need to. It was referenced in the Tarantino movie Death Proof which is why the, the girls, the stunt girls, the actresses went and test drove that white Challenger. But you really need to see the original if you haven't. So thanks for that, Steve. And a Porsche 993 GT2, which I didn't have. beauty like these are the kind of main lines that i live for i'm a main line trash collector myself and but these are good ones these are the ones that i kind of freak out about and this is a 935 which i have a lot of these but i don't have this one I, i've got to be getting near the end of the hot wheels 935 world but here's a nice navy blue pink and yellow stripes classic 935 body love it so tomorrow i'll open the extremely unexceptional mustang drive pack but happy friday it uh it's the weekend again and I'm going out shopping today, looking for those dang old tubular trucks, the new Matchbox moving parts assortment, which I haven't seen any of yet. I'm always looking for Matchbox main lines, like the, the current, the new ones, but they, they're never there. I don't think it's a case of them being hoarded or flipped so much as that stores don't order nearly as many matchboxes as they do Hot Wheels. 
and there's a lot of collectors. So I think they're legitimately getting bought up. Maybe I'm naive. I don't know. I know the ultimate treasure hunt or whatever ones get flipped and the target red edition ones called red edition, whatever they're called, those get flipped quite a bit. So I'll be looking for those. There's a Fast and Furious Silver Series and Premium line that I haven't seen yet that I want. The the new boulevards, particularly the Porsche, the baby blue 964. I don't I don't remember the number. But it's one I don't have and I needs it. So you all should get out there after work and your lunch hour and this weekend and uh scour scavenge gather some die cast anyway have a good weekend i may shave my head tomorrow so back to the ball caps and uh we're bringing that orange 911 home tomorrow so stand by for photos of that whole process talk to you later